All right, so hello everyone. I've got the um, synchronous motor set up as a generator this time. Prime mover connections, excitation, star connected, star connection going to the uh, neutral of the supply. Uh, the primary side of the supply is going to one side of the synchronising module and the output of the generator via the uh, amp meters is going to the second side of the synchronising module. So I'll we'll just turn everything on first. I've got a little multimeter on here to display the output volts of the generator. I'll just get everything going first. Turn on the power. First thing I want to do is get the speed up to 1500 RPM. So that's about that's about 1500 RPM there. Next thing is the uh, the excitation. So it's currently showing about 530 volts. So it's probably overexcited. Just dropping that excitation down to around 415 volts. Uh, it's picked up a little bit of speed there. I'll just drop the speed down. And now it's about four, just over 400 volts. So it's a little bit of a balancing act, getting that close right. Now, the issue here is these, uh, all three lights should be off. And when you have two of them glowing at once, it means that the phases are out of sequence. So you've got to swap two of the phases around. And now you'll see that they're all glowing and dimming at about the same time. The uh, RPM is about exactly right. The volts are a bit high, so just drop the volts down a little bit. But uh, we're right on the minimum excitation now. So the easy thing is just to drop the RP to RPM down a little bit. Now when you see them all dimmed out, you can throw the synchronizing switch. So now this uh, synchronous generator is synchronized online. You see the volts is fixed at 417 volts. So even now if I add more power to the prime mover, those volts will remain the same. So increasing the power. We're actually delivering real power now to the mains. The supply volts remain the same. The speed remains the same. If I drop the power down, the synchronous generator is now running as a motor. It's delivering power from here to here. The volts remain the same and the speed remains the same. And that's all I want to show with that one.